टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू अंडरस्टैंड ओ एस आई मॉडल ओपन सिस्टम इंटरकनेक्शन विथ रियल टाइम एग्जाम्पल एंड गाइज ओ एस आई मॉडल इज इंपॉर्टेंट फॉर इंटरव्यू एज वेल बिकॉज समटाइम इंटरव्यू इज आस्किंग मल्टीपल क्वेश्चन फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक दे कैन आस्क यू वाई वी कम अप विथ ओ एस आई मॉडल वॉट इज ओ एस आई मॉडल एक्सप्लेन लेयर्स ऑफ ओ एस आई मॉडल और लाइक एक्सप्लेन टी सी पी प्रोटोकॉल और एक्सप्लेन ट्रांसपोर्ट लेयर so guys if you are a network engineer or if you are planning to become a network engineer make sure you will watch this video till the end now without wasting our time let's begin first question is why we come up with osi model so guys we come up with osi model to make communication possible between different vendor devices different vendor devices means see nowadays a juniper routers are able to communicate with Cisco routers or Nokia switches are able to communicate with Juniper switches or Cisco switches you know how because of OSI model because the process for communication is same on Juniper devices as well as on Cisco devices Cisco devices Dell devices HP devices any vendor devices right guys are designed by following a common process right all devices are designed their hardware and their software both are designed according to osi model and this is why different vendor devices are able to communicate with each other but if i will talk about before osi model guys so before osi model dell computers was not able to communicate with hp computers or ibm computers right dell computer was able to communicate with other dell computers only IBM computers was able to communicate with other IBM computers only right means different vendor devices was not able to communicate with each other the reason process of constructing a device designing a hardware or designing a software was different right dell has their own process their own protocol ibm has their own process own protocol right for the communication so this is why different vendor devices was not able to communicate with each other but nowadays all devices are designed according to osi model that's why all vendor devices are able to communicate with each other so guys hope this point is clear to you like why we come up with osi model so we come up with osi model to make communication possible between all vendor devices and osi model is like a blueprint right one organization designed one common process for the communication right and they have distributed that process to all vendor companies that if you want to connect your devices to the network to the internet then you have to design your hardware or you have to design your software by using this process only if your process is different then you cannot connect your device to internet now second thing is what is osi model so guys osi model is a process which tells how data out from a computer and how data enter in a computer like let's suppose your machine from your laptop you are trying to access google right so google server is on the internet so simply you will open the browser and you will type www.google.com in the browser Once you will hit enter, your machine is going to generate one message, right? Because your computer machine, your client machine, need to send one message to Google server, correct? So your machine is going to generate one message for Google server. That is HTTP. It can be HTTP or it can be HTTPS. HTTPS request. So now your machine have generated one message. That is HTTPS message. but your machine can not send it directly to the google server like if you want to send a letter to your friend you can not write down the letter and after that you can send it directly to your friend no first you need to write down the letter right and machine have already generated the message that is like letter after that guys if you want to send that letter to your friend so you have to write down the address you will put the letter in one envelope and on the envelope you will add source address destination address in the same way the machine have generated one message for http server but machine cannot send it directly to the google server 
first of all machine need to add ip address of google server destination port because let's suppose on a single server multiple services are running right http let's suppose dhcp and dns these three services are running on a single server so when receiver machine is going to receive it right receive this message how receiver machine will came to know that this message is for http or for dhcp or for dns with the help of port number right so port number is also one kind of address each protocol at application layer have one port number to identify the service so your machine is going to add now source port destination port with the actual data then source ip destination ip then source mac destination mac and guys osi model is the process which tells how machines are going to add this extra information with actual data so my actual data is https request message like your letter now if you want to send this letter to your frame you have to add source address destination address in the same way machine also need to add source address and destination address with the actual data so osi model is a process which tells how machines are going to add this extra information with actual data after that how data will out from their interface so guys adding extra information with actual data is what is one kind of task so you can say osi model is also one kind of task only on the machine whatever task a machines are performing while generating a message or while receiving a message that is osi model now guys we divide this complete task this complete process into several part question is why we divide it guys we divide anything to make it easy so to make this task easy to make this process easy we divide it into seven part right application layer presentation layer session layer transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer so right now my machine is generating https request for google server so https is a protocol which works at application layer so application layer at application layer http protocol is going to generate one http request message then it will hand over to presentation layer application layer will hand over actual data to presentation layer now presentation layer work is to encrypt the data to encode the data to compress the data so whatever task transport layer is going to perform those all tasks and then here we will hand over it to lower layer that is session layer now whatever task we have defined at session layer session layer is going to perform same task like creating a session session layer is responsible to create session maintain session and terminate session so session layer will create one session after that it will hand over to lower layer and lower layer is guys transport layer now transport layer at transport layer actually we have two protocol transport layer decide your communication is reliable or unreliable your communication is connection oriented or connection less right means there is acknowledgement or not so we have two protocol at transport layer tcp and udp tcp is reliable udp is unreliable and guys https uses tcp protocol at transport layer so session layer will hand over actual data to tcp protocol at transport layer tcp protocol is going to add transport layer header tcp header right and all tcp based protocol first establish a logical connection so it will put the actual data on hold and it will send one send message to google server that is three way handshake right maybe in any another video we will talk about three way handshake so first your machine will perform three way handshake it will establish a logical connection after that it will hand over actual data right with transport layer header with source port destination port to, a, to the lower layer means to network layer now responsibility of network layer is adding source ip destination ip so network layer will add source ip destination ip then network layer will hand over to lower layer and guys at network layer protocol can be your ipv4 protocol ipv6 protocol right then it will hand over to lower layer lower layer means data link layer data link layer is going to add 
source mac destination mac after that it will hand over to lower layer lower layer is physical layer and at data link layer we have some protocols again nowadays we are we are uh, using arpa protocol at layer 2 at data link layer 2 encapsulate the frame right so for encapsulating packet at layer 3 we have ip protocol to encapsulate a segment at layer 4 we have tcp protocol at transport layer in the same way at layer 2 we have arpa protocol to encapsulate frame after that layer 2 will hand over it to lower layer means to physical layer and physical layer will convert your data into bits and then bits into signal and after that it will forward from so this entire process is known as guys what osi model right adding extra information with actual data is known as what osi model now when receiver machine when google server will receive this data guys receiver machine need to remove this all extra information and receiver machine need to hand over actual http request to http protocol at application layer so again removing all extra information at receiver machine is osi model so what i told you in the beginning osi model is a process which tells how data out from a computer and how data enter in a computer or in other word you can say osi model is a process which tells how a sender machine is going to send the data and how a receiver machine is going to receive the data that is what osi model now guys if i will talk about the real time example so real time example can be accessing google from your pc so what ever services we have at application layer guys we can access those services with the help of protocol services means like web page accessing a web page one service right accessing devices remotely is one service again to achieve this service we have two protocol one is telnet and other one is ssh then sending file sending mail these are what services on your computer right so we can access you can use any service with the help of protocol now hope osi model is clear to you guys like basic things about osi model why we come up with osi model to make communication possible between different vendor devices what is osi model osi model is a process which tells how data out from a computer and how data enter in a computer and we divide entire process into seven part right first layer is application second layer is presentation third is session fourth is transport fifth one is network sixth one is data link and seventh one is physical guys as a network engineer you are going to work on lower four layers means a transport layer network layer data link layer and physical layer generally software engineer works on upper layer upper layer means application presentation and session so as a network engineer you are not going to work on upper layer you are going to work on lower four layers transport network data link and physical so whatever protocols you have at transport layer network layer data link layer you need to learn those all okay but now if someone will ask you what is osi model or why we come up with osi model hope you can explain it that's all for today guys if this video was helpful for you please hit on like button if you have not subscribed the channel if you are new on the channel please subscribe this channel we'll meet soon in next video till then stay safe bye bye that's all for today